Okay guys, now, what we need to blue stainless steel is, we're going to need gun bluing, this is birchwood cases, but most of them will work, something to, scratch, to uh, buff the uh, blade with, score it up a little bit, like steel wool or a scruffy pad, and table salt. Now you're going to put the table salt into some small little container. How much? Just a good little daub. Okay. We're going to take our blade, we'll grab a hold of this, it's easier to grab a hold of, and we're going to score it up a little bit with a little steel wool. Now what great. All we're wanting to do is put fine scratches in the polish. You're not wanting to sand it truly down, although you could. But what we're trying to do here is simply to uh, cut, knock off the, you know, the polish a little bit so that it's not a truly smooth surface. There are fine cracks and lines in it. And it doesn't take long to do it. Just about like that. Okay. Now wiping the blade down. Now we're going to take a rag of some kind. And you may want to wear gloves to do this, whatever. We don't want the bluing to react with your skin. Take the gun bluing. Put it with the table saw. Let it sit for just a second. Add a little bit more table salt. Now what I the consistency I want is something kind of like gravy. Not truly liquid and not truly paste. Okay? So gravy be a Good idea, close I can give you. Mix it together really good. I already said it, darken that tip. Now we take a rag. Form us a little ball on the end. Want to wet it in the material and start rubbing it onto the blade and you see that very quickly I hope you can see that because of the glare it starts bluing now it's a slow process you must instantly tarnish it if there's oil or anything on this it will seem to resist it more it's how many layers you want put in there Getting a little of that salt on it is actually the secret. You want to pick up salt at the bottom down there on the rag and use that to kind of score the stainless as you go along. This now bluing salt, for lack of a better term, is what does the line share of the work. What had been nice and shiny is now turning black. And you just keep adding a little bit more of that salt to it. It might take two, three applications to get what you want. And if it's splotchety someplace and you want to make it more even, Add a little bit more and start rubbing it there. I kind of like the splotchy actually. Gives it an antique look. I'm going to add just a little bit more liquid bluing to what's left in that little tub. Do it again. See how it does the rag as well. Now I know I don't have to tell you it's toxic. So gloves are preferred. Also dispose of it correctly. Read the directions. Treat it like it was just plain bluing. 
and follow the directions for disposal. You just keep adding a little salt and rubbing. Add a little salt and rub. Before you know it, it's blue or it's black. Simple as that. Okay, stay with me. See if I can get you a good close up. Okay, stay with me. And I will reset up and we'll start the final assembly. Back in a minute. Here's the finished product. I want to thank you for this because I wouldn't have done this if some of you hadn't asked me. I make videos to try to share, to take the knowledge that I've learned over my lifetime and share it with anybody that wants to know. And when I pointed out my project and so many people had asked that they really would like to see that, that drives me to go to greater lengths and to come up with more projects for you. So really, thank you for all your support and all of your help over the years and all your comments. I really mean that. Now, the Open L Knife Mod. Here it is in its sheath. It fits just fine. There's the knife. All ready to go. Now I'll give you a close up in just a minute. I'm going to have still pictures at the end of this. But now I have where I can index it, index out, lock, and I got a saw blade and it locked. Piece of scrap. No problem. Doesn't wiggle in the handle. Feels solid in the hand. So now I've got a saw that I can notch with and etc. Where I need a little fine cutting saw. And to be honest, I find that more than I do the big bulky saws. Now the modification you got to make to that blade is, like I said, the back of it. You got to notch it, and here at the front, notch it. Fit it to the locking collar, and then notch it in place with that or a file. That way you did it like this, rock solid. That was the problem I had in my first modification. I did everything by eye and I didn't fit enough. So lessons learned. Now, the saw blade slides right back in and out comes the big blade. Now as you can see, I hope you can see, I went ahead and put bluing on it so it would match as well. And then by indexing back in, there. Make sure all my blades are in place. And there's my number 10 blade, the blued stainless steel blade that we talked about a minute ago. And it's rock solid as well. I can sit in there and make feather sticks, whatever I want with it. It's going to do its job just fine. It's rock solid in the hand. So now I've taken a tool and I've turned it into a multi tool. Just like that. The locking collar locks closed, so all my blades are locked in place, and it locks the blades in place once they're deployed, all three of them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this project, guys. This project was driven by you, and I greatly appreciate all your support, and I greatly appreciate everything you do for me and my channel. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave your questions or comments. Right after this will be the pictures up close, so stay tuned. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.